What's going on everybody? Welcome to Ryan Pineda Show. We talk all things money, real estate, and entrepreneurship. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you my top five tools that I use as an entrepreneur. So make sure you stay till the end of the video because I'm gonna be giving the best tool for last. But I'm also gonna start off by saying that we are not gonna include the obvious tools. We all know we need a cell phone. We all know we need a laptop. We all know we need AirPods. So I'm just gonna get those out of the way because I know everyone should have those things in just normal everyday life. You don't need to be an entrepreneur to have a cell phone, right? So I'm gonna talk about the things that I have found to be the most beneficial and have helped me get to where I'm at today. And before we get into it, if this is your first time at my channel, welcome. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Ryan Pineda. I own multiple businesses out here in Las Vegas. Most of them are real estate related. We flip over 100 homes a year. I've got a CPA company, a real estate brokerage, real estate education. If you're interested in any of those businesses and getting involved with us, you can definitely find them in the link below. But the reason I mention all that is because all of these things play a role for me developing those businesses. They've helped me get to where I'm at today, so I wanna share them with you as well. So let's get into it. Tool number one is my journal. So I've mentioned my journal in other videos and I've been doing it for about five years consistently. It has become a staple in my morning routine and I cannot recommend it enough. And I used to be one of those guys who was like, journaling, what's the point? I don't need to write my goals. I don't need to write my thoughts. I don't need to write things I'm grateful for. I already know them all. I know what I'm trying to accomplish. And I was completely wrong back then. There's something that happens when you put pen to paper on a daily basis. When you're constantly writing it out, your mindset shifts. You're taking action towards those goals every single day if you're writing those down. And somewhat you're tricking yourself into believing that you've already achieved them or that it's inevitable that you'll achieve them. Because if you're writing down a certain goal every single day and it doesn't ever happen, you're pretty much calling yourself a liar. Eventually, you'll probably just quit writing it down because you don't achieve it. What's more than likely to happen is you're gonna achieve your goal. And I can look back and reminisce about how I was feeling when I wrote those goals, when I wrote my thoughts down. And for me, I'm a big believer that the magic does happen by writing it down. Sure, you could type it and keep it digital, but for me, the old school method is always gonna be better. And the cool thing with a journal is you can do it however you want. You can write things you're grateful for, you can write your goals, you can write ideas, you can take notes. There's a whole bunch of things. All I would say is just do it daily, guys. Make it a consistent habit and see what happens. All right, let's get into number two. The second thing that I use the most is right in front of me. You guys figure it out yet? Think about it, think about it. It's the camera. Ever since I started filming with this camera, and for those of you wondering what camera it is, it's a Sony a6400. But ever since I started filming YouTube videos with it, my career has gone in a totally different direction. My businesses are getting more clients. I'm impacting more people. My personal brand is growing. It's leading to new opportunities and doors are being opened. And it's all because I'm using this camera and filming. Now granted, there's a whole bunch of other stuff that goes with it. I gotta think of new ideas, which is where my journal comes into play. I come up with a lot of ideas in my journal, but I also have to take what I film, get it edited and post it and do all those things. But I can tell you this camera has definitely changed my life. And if I didn't have it, you would not be watching this video being impacted right now. Now, do you need a camera like mine? Absolutely not. You could start filming videos on your phone. But if you plan to take social media seriously and create great content, I think it's well worth investing in a nice camera. You don't have to go crazy and get a two, three thousand, four thousand dollar camera. There are some great cameras out there for six to eight hundred dollars. I think this one was like eight or nine hundred bucks. And I've talked about it on this channel before where the world is headed with social media. Businesses are going to rely on social media. Personal brands are going to be built through social media. The world is definitely changing and this is going to be a big tool for it. All right, let's jump into to number three. Number three is also what I'm pointing at, but slightly below right now. Can you guys guess what it is? It's the tripod. Now I'm gonna assume you're still with me from the camera advice. The other thing you need with the camera is a good tripod. I've got a bunch of different tripods. They all have various purposes, but I really like the Joby Gorilla Pod for most situations. You're able to vlog with it and bring it on the go. You're able to set it on a table and film just like this. I think it's a great tool and not just for a camera like a Sony a6400, but also for your phone. You can get an attachment, put your phone on it, vlog, it's super cool. You could definitely get away with a cheaper tripod, no doubt about it, but you can get a nice gorilla pod for around 60 bucks and it's well worth it over the $20 counterpart. So if you are gonna take social media seriously and you are gonna get a camera, get a good tripod to go with it. All right, now let's talk about tool number four and that is 
the Kindle. I absolutely love the Amazon Kindle. For me, being able to read any book anywhere is amazing. One of my goals this year is to read a book a week, and I'm actually right on pace, and that's due to the Kindle. I can bring this little tablet anywhere and download any book and read it in any setting. I love to read at night before I go to sleep, and the Kindle's great because it has backlight, but it's not a backlight like your phone or like an iPad where it hurts your eyes. It still looks like a normal piece of paper, and it's easy to read. Honestly, I think it's the best value for learning. Being being able to travel with all of these books, download a book at any moment, read it in any setting, I don't think you can beat it. Now I know a lot of you prefer physical books, and there's nothing wrong with that, I read physical books too, but I know I'm not gonna bring five books with me to travel. And I don't like having to turn the light on when I wanna read in the dark. So that's the reason I'm not a big fan of physical books. Some of you might be saying, well, what about Audible? Audible's a great tool too. But what I have found is with Audible, I catch myself doing other things. I'll be listening to it, and then I'll be browsing websites, browsing social media, and then I won't retain the information. You may be able to avoid the temptation and actually listen and retain it, but I can't. The beauty is there's a lot of different ways to learn, whether it be just listening with Audible, whether it be reading on Kindle or the physical book, but just get out there and read. And by the way, if you haven't read my book, Flip Your Future yet, you can get it on any of those platforms. I personally read it on Audible, it's on Kindle, and there's a physical copy as well. But as I said, I'm a Kindle guy, so that's my fourth favorite tool. And that leads us to our last tool. My fifth and final tool is a nice bag. I know, that was anticlimactic. But if you think about it, everything I just mentioned to this point needs a place to go. Your journal, your camera, your tripod, your Kindle, your phone, your laptop, your AirPods, all of the things I just mentioned can fit in one bag. I do believe having a nice bag is important. Now look, you don't need a Louis Vuitton bag, but I also don't think you should just settle for a Jansport bag. Nothing wrong with Jansport, it'll get the job done. But if you can afford it, get something nice. I've got no problem spending a little more money on something you're gonna use every day. And all those tools I just mentioned, I use almost every day. I bring my bag with me on business trips, I bring it to the office. It is well worth the money. My bag of choice is Tumi. I have almost Tumi everything. Wallet, backpack, sling bag, crossbody bag. You don't need all that, but they work for me. But I believe investing in a nice backpack to put your camera in and put all those other things in is a necessity. And whatever that looks like for you and your financial position, just be reasonable with it. You don't have to go cheap with everything. So if you're still with me, those are the top five things I use as an entrepreneur. If you plan to take your business seriously, which means you're gonna take social media seriously, I think you need all those tools. And I bring them with me almost everywhere I go because I never know when I'm gonna need them. I never know if I'm gonna have downtime and I can read my Kindle. I never know if there's gonna be something cool to film and I need my camera. I never know if I'm gonna have this great thought and I wanna journal it. So I highly suggest picking up those items. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, do me a big favor, go hit that like button. If you haven't already, go subscribe, follow me on all my socials, and until next time, Take care. Hey guys, real quick, if this is your first time at this channel, I wanna just thank you for coming. We've got a whole bunch of different things we can offer that I wanna make sure you know about. The first thing is I want you to check out our different playlists. We've got all sorts of content on this channel and it may be tough to find. If you go to the playlist section, we've got different categories that you guys need to check out. You can see all our real estate videos, our finance videos, and even check out our weekly vlogs. And if you haven't subscribed yet, don't be ashamed. You're probably like most. Only 10% of the people that watch my videos are subscribed. So if you wanna join the exclusive club, go and subscribe. And if you wanna join the really exclusive club, go hit the bell notification as well. That'll notify you every single time we release a new video. And my goal is to put out a video almost every single day. So make sure you go do those things, check out the playlist, and thanks again for watching.